Okay. Right, we're now live. You're on, Eric. So, welcome everyone to Premier League Season 6 You're Round welcome. 1 game with Quidjiro, Sushant Pond, Tavlin, and Shazzy, and our guest commentator, Eric. Over to you, Eric. How's it going? How's it going, Bob? Thanks yeah, for, thanks for good. inviting me to commentate. Good, that should be, should be a great match today. Looking at the game showing the stream. Yeah, that no, should be a great game, great, great lineup. Uh, I mean, two of the most recognizable names, certainly Shazzy and Quijibo, are you know, very well accomplished players and uh, have won in real life tournaments. And yeah, I'm excited to see how this how this plays out. You know, two shots yeah. a bit more newer to the to the scene. I understand he's a recent. Uh, uh, he recently joined uh, Premier League last month, and then with the re retiering, he was uh, he was pushed into the top tier, the the, the PL, the Premier League uh, upper tier. Yeah. And we also oh, have yeah. line who I'm yeah not too familiar with. Played him like once or twice before. Yeah, well, both Tavaline and Sushant, as I should say, it was their first PL season last season, but they both did you know did well enough to you know, to make it to this season's streamlined Premier League. So mm -hmm. anyway, so the game's up and running. Yeah, okay, um, board's up. Board is up. I don't know. Sushant, it's not a. I don't love you know, just my high high level look. It's not nothing stands out to me at first, and it usually means it's probably gonna be a better board for fourth. Um. Uh. Hmm. Eight four three sort of stands out. Six nine three. Eight four ten nine five ten. You got a lot of, a lot of options, but they're not overwhelmingly strong. It could be a. I wonder what he could potentially anchor it with. He might get something in the middle of the board coming back, so it may not be bad to get brick here. Yeah, it's six nine three. That's a safe spot. Strong or, better start strong road material and some, you know, secondary ore to help him city at some point in the game. Should yeah, be good. I think that would have been my choice actually. I quite like that one. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's that's fair. I mean, the 8410 kind of stands out to me with the port, but I just don't know how con if you can get that wood port, it's really nice. It's, the city quality is really good on 8410, but I'm just not not confident you can, you, you might get a race with 5910 of that you port will. potentially. Exactly. That yeah. yeah. And the, the port's not as strong for, the, for that 5910 player, so I think you can get a race there. So, but I think the 693 is a safe, strong road material and, I mean, I wonder what you come get coming back to anchor it. I mean, it'd be nice if you get maybe even 10, 11, 3 could certainly work with that. So, I mean, I think there's options. There should be options, I think, in the middle of the board with the, with the desert hex on the outer outer limit. Yeah. Out of the outer ring. Yeah. So, Tavaline's up next. Yeah, I mean, hmm. I wonder what he, what he does here. I don't know. No, nothing really stands out to me. I think you've got options, and but it, it's just how confident are you to be able to get the pairing resource coming back here. It's a there's tough decisions here. I think it becomes a bit easier, maybe third, and certainly a fourth to be able to set this board, this type of board up, where there isn't like an overwhelmingly strong one or two spots where it's sort of given to you in terms of where you need to go. So I mean, this would be a be a, certainly hope to see some creativity in this game. What would you do here, Bob? What's your pick? Oh, actually, there's not a lot of wheat around, so I'd be tempted to get some yeah. of that. I think. Yeah. I think maybe a six four eleven like, potentially. If, yeah, uh, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, but. I, I probably. I might prefer the six three four over that. I I think 
uh, I don't yeah, know how. Yeah, yeah, you're right. To get, get out of the 411, and you get double. You get double. You can get double weaving at that 411 port, and you can yeah. sort of shrink. You, you give yourself future expansion on the right. I don't. I'm not sure if I see anyone settling A3 or A4. Yeah. So you need good road material, enough. and I don't think you get it though. If it's, I don't know, it's an awkward spot. I probably go 4 8 10 here, but uh, do I? I don't know. You're not getting like five nine ten. Certainly won't be there coming back, and. Uh, yeah, eight three four could be a consideration, I guess. And then maybe you can work out something with Sushan. That Sushan takes a six or port, a six three for one port, and then you can get the three three for one port. So you guys go eight four ten. You know, it's a like I see it. It makes sense, but he's going to be all in on getting that port. And then you know, if I'm playing against that, I'm probably helping the five nine ten player potentially get that port and. I think that E410 is a, with getting that port and the city quality on it. I mean, when you city A410 with that wood port, you city the eight, which is strong ore, and four and ten are just free cards, so it just yeah. becomes super flexible. And so the, the table has an incentive to to uh, give the five nine ten player here that port. So I think you know potentially top line gets robbed early here. I would think to prevent him from getting that port, and yeah. you just don't like that resistance early in the game. That's what I see with that pick. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I like I think he's probably gonna end up playing Orwee Sheep because you'll probably get like six three eleven. But his port, he, he's I think he's gonna he may have to <laughs> sell his soul or something to get that port. And I don't know how he's gonna. It'd be interesting to see what he gets back. I mean, let's anyways, let's let's see what uh, Quijigo does here. Uh. I mean, the rule at third is you take the rarest resources typically. Yeah. Uh, so he's, he's what's rare that. here? Well, I guess the, the five, ore, nine, ten sort of the, rare. The ore, the ore is rare now, isn't it? So the ore is rare. If Charlie rare, wants I mean, some more, wonder, he wants to go on that four. Like, I feel if there's value to a free road too. And I mean, Shazzy almost certainly like takes, he pairs like five by 10 probably is his second pick. He gets a free road near yeah. or he gets a start head start to the, to a port. I mean, I, I'm probably leaning five, nine, 10 because unless, unless Shazzy goes, yeah, that's what I think too. I mean, he's got, if Quidro has options for sure, he could even go eight, three. I don't think eight, three is unreasonable here actually. So, think, so you think the five nine ten is is, is is kind of defensive against giving Shazzy two? Def it's more defensive yeah. because I don't think you want to give. It basically locks the brick out. Yeah. No one because Shazzy doesn't get brick here unless he anchors on the twelve, which uh, you don't love doing. And the anchoring spots on the twelve aren't great. No. I mean, and I don't think six two or nine twelve <laughs> the real great might make the difference. There's no, there isn't a free road to the, on the nine twelve. It's just double brick. But I don't, I think Shazzy doesn't settle on brick here. So he's probably going to play Orwee Sheep. I think five nine ten is more defensive because, uh, I mean, if if he doesn't go five nine ten, if he goes like eight four, if he's it anchors somewhere on the four brick or the four or, then Shazzy probably takes five nine ten. Something in the middle board, even eight three isn't terrible. I don't think he need to do eight three, but I mean, he probably goes like six three eleven, maybe, and just gets that. Or I don't know, something. The, the weed is a bit rare, but I don't. I, I like the five nine ten pick there. That's what stood out to yeah. me because I think you have options. I mean, he could maybe be okay getting in a fight for that wood port because he has a brick. So even if Quijivo gets nine four eleven, that you know, and he's coordinated nines, which is super powerful, which makes a plow to the eight or really efficient i mean i but then like no one wants to touch tavaline or quijibo with respect to helping them get the port they want them to fight it out and keep robbing each other yeah other yeah. while shazzy and sushant set up their game so i mean he, the five that ten is just really flexible it, it protect it gives him the the brick he needs and it probably doesn't get blocked early in the game unless it's very defensive on Tavaline's part to get that port. When they they might be battling really for that that wood port where it can see some contention. I don't know. He's, he's, like, he's just got yeah. options. And like even yeah, like eight, four, eight four three. If 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 Queen gets eight four three coming back, that's really good. I, I expect Shazzy's going to take six four three or eight yeah. four three. I'm just not sure what he pairs with it. 
I was expecting Matt to take six four three to block it out. From... I mean, the brick ports. Like, the ports are great for him on that side of the board. But he may go. Is nine? No, nah, he needs a brick. I mean, nine ten two is sort of nice because I don't think anyone takes five ten or five two. But he needs a brick. If he can negotiate a brick somehow and take nine ten two and get access that five two, would be really nice. But oh, if he takes six four three, then nine happening. ten six four I mean, three. If he goes a nine ten two, then takes a shoot port. That seems like a reasonable strategy. Six six four six, three six, nine four six four three, and then nine ten yeah. two to take the sheep port. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's it just seems things. it's a little it it's slow. Yeah, he, wow, he goes right on it. He goes right on it. Oh, okay, there you go. That speeds yeah, up a bit. The sheep that, port, sure. that speeds it up a bit then, I guess. <laughs> yeah, six four three. Yeah, no, you, it does. I mean. Production's a little thin. It, gives, it leaves a lot of board too. But but he, he, he realizes the value of getting that brick. But he has left, we'll eight, have he's left the eight four three for, for Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's gonna be a really good setup, and he's gonna he's gonna have a lot of flexibility. Yeah. I wonder if they made a any type of side deal there. Yeah, Guido's gonna have a really strong setup, I think. Here. I mean, I, I wonder how they're gonna. Uh, settle the this port situation. Well, they don't really want either of them to get it anymore. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, the thing is, is Quijo has options for ports. He's gonna have the brick port is gonna also work for him. Like he's not gonna fight for the the the. Uh, he won't fight for the wheat port here. I don't think. Although the Ford has become a powerful number for for Shazzy. so I think he the eight four eight four three seems like the pick here. Get all the resources. You've got port options. You've got flexibility. Yeah. You've got the northeast side of the board to build if you want to go long road, or even the south side. You've got options. It's a good enough dev card game. Where I mean, I guess Shazzy's. Kind of, I, I feel he's probably all in on dev cards based on the resources he has. But yeah, just interesting to see what he does here. I I think it's eight four three. Yeah. And I I I, I probably don't care that much about the wood port. Like I I realize it's strong for Tableline, but from Quijibo, I probably just I'd probably just accept not getting it because you just don't want you probably make a deal with them not to fight for it because you just don't want to get robbed right away. And I think if there's early sevens, like Tableline's gonna be robbing Quijibo to to protect that port because he knows Tableline needs it. So Tavaline has an interesting pick here. I wonder what he does. Well, I don't know. What do you what do you what do you what do you, th what do you right. think? Uh, what do you think Avalon does here? Well, yeah, the takes. Ooh, interesting road interesting road placement though. I yeah. think he just doesn't he doesn't well, want to. I think he's he's showing Shazzy he's not going to fight him for that wheat port at all, and I think he just sees value in that ten three. Or maybe the wood port, maybe the eight if he goes for the wood port. I just I just don't think he needs a wood port unless it's like. He has all the cards in his hand to take it. Mm. Like he won't put a, a, a like a, he won't put a he won't put a road out to it. I don't think. I just I don't think he needs to fight him for it. I think the three ones enough flexibility for him. So I think he sees value in that, that, that like building up. So he goes yeah, ten yeah. three, then five three one port, and, and circling around ro long yeah. road game flexibility with dev cards. Yeah, it's. I think it just doesn't get unless Shazzy pulls a road building somehow can plow that. Five ten spot is really super for his game, but no, I think it's interesting. I, I probably would have placed it down, but I think looking at that, I, I do really like that upward, upward spot because I he's gonna have expansion spots up there. He should, but he, he'd be a favorite to get to them in my opinion. So what's Tavolin thinking then? I guess he's got options. I don't know. I like. He's do you want to triple of, on wood options. for right. flexibility or double on it? Like, do you go five for eleven? You go six five eleven. I don't need. You don't need that much wood. I think you just you have enough dev cards, and like the four and ten are just the wild cards that complete your hand to buy more devs. I would think I'd probably go maybe even uh, like six five eleven or ten three eleven. I think you need the, the wheat's a bit rare. I think he needs to like work with some type of deal to Quijibo to not not get pressure on that. Well, probably his game is toast about it. Probably six to eleven then, right? 
rather than 10 for 11. Yeah, yeah, so, sorry, yeah. 6 for 11, not 10 for 11, yeah. That'd be 6 for 11, yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's probably the play here. Yeah. Yeah, get, get the rare, get rare, hard to block wheat. And then you point, point, your, point your point your road point your road down, and you're going to get a nice expansion spot as well somewhere. So. Yeah, probably. I I, I wonder what Sushant does here. And you know, playing I've played enough with Sushant. I know he he loves of the four players. He be he's the one that will probably be the quickest to buy development cards. And this isn't a this won't be a dev a great dev card game for him. Because no. I think there's other players that will have better setups for it. I uh, if he goes six three eleven, yeah, I think that's that's a pick. Six three eleven, work out some deal with Fiji not to get pressure on the wood port. And he's probably gonna pay up like an ore or something, help him city eight four three. I think that's what it, that would be the deal I think would be fair to both players. But I think uh I think Tavalon goes six three eleven. If he can get the, if he is confident he'll get he gets a wood port. And then Sushant, yeah, he's gonna I think he's gonna he might struggle here. Uh, sort of four five eleven sort of stands out, but the the numbers they just don't they don't look that strong. I guess what he could if he, with the I mean what he could do is go four five eleven point down and probably get the six five twelve. He's got strong road 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 material, then he can build his road network. He's probably he's I think he's gotta go and figure out how to connect his roads at some point. Point. And I don't think he's going to get, he shouldn't get competition from Pavilion without having brick. And I think he's just set up better to buy devs. And yeah. I don't think Quijibo can interfere with that. No, that's what I think. But hmm. so Pavilion did what? Good thing. Yeah, I think I think if I'm Sushan, I'm trying to plow him to the six five yeah. because that road's it, Pavilion isn't going to waste time. He wants that wood port. Like I, I think Sushan would be right to go four five eleven point down. Yeah. He's not going to get competition from the from anyone else for that six five twelve, and he's got that three. Like he's got options for ports too. Actually, you know what? Like I kind of like him building it yeah, to the eight three later in the, like at some point in the game. I just if someone pulls the right road, like the it pulls a road building card, I mean, if Tavalon gets one, he can plow the eight three. That's would be a really good play for him. But I, I see Sushant trying to get the eight three later in the game, probably more secondary. I think plowing six five twelve is probably first, but. That's that. That's kind of what I I, I see here. Yeah. Uh, either way, Sushant probably will get on the eight three. And that's gonna be good for him eventually. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hmm. It's an interesting game. Like I don't think Shazzy gets robbed much early, and maybe that helps him set up his his network. Like I, I just don't love Shazzy's number. Ooh, wow. I don't know if I like that. That was. I kind of like. I I like being a bit more aggressive with the road here. Because Tavaline's gonna need probably a four settlement spot. I guess he could take the eight. Like if he gets a wood port, but that six five twelve is a really nice expansion spot, obviously. But he doesn't have a great port. He won't have a port with it. All right, we're off. We're off. All yeah. right, Queen yeah. Dubo's got another ore, so he's you know a bit closer to the city. I think I think Sushant just passes here. Two wood, one wood, one wheat, one sheep. I don't think he's getting. There's no brick out there. No one's trading more, so he passes. Mm, that's nice for Guijibo. He's got a road. That'd be interesting to see what he does with that road. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, Guijibo doesn't take that. Yeah, what does he do with this road? That's gonna be really wow. He's got a 
road and dev in his hand. So does he hold it or does he just does he make his intention known uh, straight away? I I don't think he wants I, I think he just, you know, like keep the peace. I'd put it I'd probably go if if there's a deal where Tavline doesn't plow Quidro to the nine, you just go ten three, I think, and just you know, if you know that nine is safe. You just uh Oh, he did it. The traded, yeah. So he's one away. He's got two or one away from his. He's got on two or numbers, one away from his city now. It's a good trade for Ujiro, I think, because he's on rare wheat. So Shazzy rolls to six. He's got one or no, he's got two or two. Uh, three wheat and one, sorry, three sheep, two ore, one wheat. He's one away from the city, too. Just pour. I think he just holds here. Or do you pour it and give yourself a little more insurance and not getting, so not sevening out? But if you pour it, then, you know, he's holding better cards. If Quijibo rolls a seven, he's got two ore. It might be a, a prime robbing target. No, I, I I like that e three four city because Shazzy's gonna get devs. He's gonna help protect it, and that three is just gonna be hard to block. And when they roll, they're just gonna help him get his second city. So another six rolls. So she's Don's got some brick. Oh, he's got, he's got uh, a set yeah. yeah. I don't know. I probably still think I go five six twelve over there. Yeah. So I think that yeah, I think he still gets that nine ten eleven. He might still get the six five twelve anyway. He could, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, he could. Maybe a couple more sixes and he'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Ten. What's Tav wants it with? A couple. He traded a wheat. He's got a couple. He's probably. I think he's got four or five. Wood, yeah, I think he's got enough to put a road down so he can port in 4 1. And he probably does that, I think. Nice, okay, yeah, because he's got he's got a couple sheep, right? So that's that might be uh, no, he's got one wheat, two sheep, and four wood, I think. I see the chat is suggesting that Quiggy Bo and Tavlin have done a, yeah. done a deal on the That, on that the makes report. sense. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's not worth it for them to fight over it. Quiggy doesn't, like, it, it would be, it probably would be his best port, actually, but I think he just sees that Tavlin is all in on it, and it's just going to, it just becomes an ugly game when you take the most critical, such a critical spot away from a player. So you yeah. got to kind of, Look to balance things out and keep the peace a bit. Otherwise, yeah. you know, Ty, if you take that wood for it, you you know he's gonna be, like the first person they're gonna rob is <laughs> is you. Indeed. You're just you're just sitting like a, a dead duck, and it's just it just you just get so much interference and just obstruction. It just becomes harder to win. It just the board just it just seems to work against you. I find. Ooh, that's nice for Quito. That should be. Road settle. He, he, he could bone him. I, guess, I mean, I don't think he does here, but I think he's got road settle. Do you go 10 3 or do you just get the 9? The 9 becomes a blocking target, I think. If the first 7 that rolls, I think it goes on that 9 brick. Or 10 3, maybe goes 4 or, depending on who rolls it, obviously. but. It is a target, but yes, that's the port's pretty useful. So I would definitely, I would, yeah, always, I would always go to the port first, it, it, but. Probably, but I think he's just got enough like set like settlement numbers, like road numbers to, to he he can get it as long as he knows like Tavlon doesn't pull do something like pull a road building card and plow into it. Yeah. 
that's probably how I would play this. And I think he just something about pacing too. I, I just feel the nine just stands out as like a robber target to me. But he's also he's sitting with you know, he's got two ore, two wheat, two brick. Wait, he might be missing. He might be with missing. I don't know. He just traded a wheat. He gave a wheat. Okay, now he's got road subtle. And he just goes there. Okay. He does concede the wood port. He rolls, so that's. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, for some reason, I thought Quidro was on two or numbers. He's only on one. I, I don't know why. Yeah. He's on four, ten. Yeah, he's on. So, no, he's got a Shazzy here. Does he have a city? No, four's rolled. Is it once or twice? He placed on it. So, he's got at least two or. He's got a bunch of sheep and a wheat. I think he does have a city. I think he's debating. I think he's got one wheat, two ore, and four sheep. I think he's got a perfect city. I think he's I think he's city six for eleven here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that gets his game going a bit. It does. He's got. I just don't love his. I mean, the, the sheep port's good, but that the secondary port was that. That I, I guess it's okay. The wood. I mean, the that uh, that wheat port. But yeah, it didn't do much. But... Better than no port, I guess. But I don't see him ever really porting wheat here. Not often. If it was like a three-one port. It'd be perfect. That'd be a lot better. Well, not really. Be, I I guess not. I mean, he's gonna be two wanting the sheep anyways. Uh, so another eight rules. Yeah. And the thing I like about that city now is if, if a six is blocked, then he's still got the four. And if the four is yeah, blocked, he's, he's got, got the six. He's so still, it's, yeah, he's, he's got, got... Yeah. He's the most dependent on, on army, so I'm just expecting him. I'm expecting probably him and Tavaline to push army here. Yeah. And Tavaline's going to put a road down. He's got onto his hand, but he's not going to get the, the brick he needs. So it's going to be a bit of a crawl for him. He's sitting with ore. And I know he knows Quijibo needs ore, but I don't think he has any brick to offer him. Yeah. It'd be interesting where they go. Now that Shazzy put up that city, I think the block is probably four ore. If it's, you know, Tavlon or Sushant roll the seven, the first seven, I think the nine is probably safe. So I think yeah, it makes sense to probably settle the the, the or the brick port first yeah. or the three one on the nine first. Yeah. Uh, what's Tavaline doing here? I think he's got to put a road down. He's got ten cards. He must be able to do something. Yeah, he's got a he's got a lot of wood and he's got ore and he's got two. You no, know, he traded one wheat. He's, he's got a couple of sheep and one wheat. He's got a he's got he should have I think five wood. I think he just puts a road down. I mean, he'd, he'd love to trade. I mean, I could see a trade happening here with if it, maybe a nine rolls, nine or an eight roll, something where Tavlon trades ore for a brick from Quijibo and Quijibo gets a city out of it and Tavlon gets, oh, gets to settle the 10. He just traded. Interesting trade he's here. Got an ore, yeah. Oh, he's going he's gonna to port. Yeah, I think he wants. Uh, no, he's going to port the sheep now, I think. I think he's trying, he's trying to trade for a city by the looks of it. Yeah, I guess, or maybe he's going that route. I don't know. I think I, I think I like getting the, yeah, I think that works too. I guess. Hmm. That'd be. I mean, if. Hmm. Yeah. No, certainly it should help him maybe accelerate to that 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 wood port. Assuming they made a deal. That, that, that's what I'm. This. <laughs> it's always being assumed that. Yeah. You know, otherwise it'd be it'd be nice for Quijibo to. I think Quijibo would certainly try and plow him if he could. But no, I think that's the intention. Just let let himself set up their infrastructure. Uh we got eight. So Quijibo's got hmm. two sheep. For dev here? You got a city? No, I don't think he's got a city. He's holding. So he's he's saving for a city. He traded an ore there. I'm sure how many ore he has left. Shazzy 
with one card, hits a five, so he passes here. Talk. Seems like a clear pass. He hasn't got a lot to think about, has he, with one card? <laughs> <laughs> I guess he wants to empty his hand and get 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 resources he doesn't doesn't produce. But I don't think the table needs to do this trade. Maybe Quijibo. It might be close. Oh, what's your shot? Oh, insurance. No, is that what's going on here? I don't know what that was. Oh, he's porting for him. Or... Okay, yeah. Seems like he's porting and getting a second, maybe a second card out of it and a free card. So it's cheap and a free card for porting for Sushant, which is what I'm gathering is yeah. happening here. So you got a free, you got a free wood out of it to port. The trade. Hmm. So Tavlin's in with I think four ore. Uh, no, his fifth card is it a wood or a wheat or a sheep? Quijibo. He's got a decent mid of cards. I don't think he's got brick. He's got a couple sheep and wood, and then like one ore, maybe one wheat. He's just trying to figure out how to get to a city, I think. Here, I think you just want to get that city on E3 4 and get your game going. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. I, I think the city on E three four is a better city from the five nine ten, but he's got it balance like it otherwise I think nine brick becomes a better blocking target and that kind of it, it may shut his game down potentially. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely go for it. Eight three four means it's gonna Yeah, it, it makes it easier to get a second city. Exactly, you just wanna pick up pick up the aura and the weight is kind of one of my Yeah, of my it is. Yeah. yeah. But if he gets a I mean yeah, it's got more flexibility for sure. I think it's just, no, nah, yeah, I think you, you typically see the A3-4 there. Uh, the Tavalent is here. Got another sheep, or a sheep, uh, with four ore, and I believe it's a second sheep or wood. Well, you could trade away an ore for a brick, maybe. Yeah, he'd love that trade. I, I mean, I don't... I mean, yeah, I guess Hushan has the brick. He's got more bricks. So yeah, that trade could be on the table now. I guess it's maybe on Hushan's turn. Help him get a city. Aquijibo buys a development card here. Wow, the eights are hot. Oh, man, Tavlin's heavy, heavy, heavy ore. Yeah. He, he may have to settle for porting it. I, I, I think he might be stuck to. Sushan can maybe make a good trade here and offer two ore for a brick potentially. It'd be a really nice trade for him, I think. That would be very nice. I, I mean, I think Tavaline might be a little. I, or, I mean, otherwise he's going to have to port it. I think he's. Like, I don't. Like, he's going to do something about ore this turn. It's Shazzy. Is he all sheep? I feel like he is. That could be a dev card, or maybe he just wants. I think it probably. Uh, maybe it hold. Seems like an expensive dev card to port a lot. 
you'd like to hit, hopefully get a four and eleven to hit to make it a little easier. What you think he's got? You kind of give yourself the flexibility. You think he's got six sheep? I yeah. think so. Yeah, six okay. is rolled. Oh, five. Okay. I don't think eleven four have rolled recently. He cleaned yeah. city, and then I think he's only been six and five. Oh. Unless I'm missing something. If it was me, I would, I would, I'd port it and get the dev card. But that's just. Yeah, just do something. I don't, I don't know if I, I, I may not mind just porting and holding, but maybe. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to trade. I think if you could trade for, for, oh no, he has, you know, he has one. Sorry, he does have one. Uh, he has one wood. All right. No, that's right. He put a yeah. He he has one wood. He he got the free wood on the on the port on the oh, porting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the charge this Sushant. So yeah. he had five wheat, or five sheep and one wood and ported. So he's got three. Yeah, that sucks for Tavalon. That's no sort of why I like the like getting the port maybe a little earlier there, but no, no, you never know when the numbers roll. But I think now he's he's got enough strength where I think the table doesn't want to. Help him get that. Like they don't mind him really having to pay or empty his hand to get 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 brick, and unless it's going to help the player's game, he may. I think he's going to struggle to get that brick. And it's going to be a, it'd be a nice trade for someone like Sushant, who could. I think a one brick or two ore trade is definitely going to work. So, uh, so it goes. Yeah, I guess Sushant's a bit nervous that Quidro has a has a knight, so he doesn't block Quidro. I don't know if I like that six block, but. That's a strong block against Shazzy. It is. Yeah, it's a it's a strong block against Shazzy. I'd probably go for or but Yeah. yeah. Like again, Tavlin's just trying to figure out how he's gonna get this wood or get this brick. And you know, he's sitting with four and and wood likely, I believe. He may, he may have like a bit. Of, what did he? What did he throw? Two sheep, two ore. Yeah. And Eleven and three. I haven't. I haven't ruled. Where does he go? Yeah, he's probably. Hmm. It's interesting, isn't it? Kujibos got an interesting decision here. It's an interesting, interesting robber placement. If, Diesel, uh, I don't know. I don't mind maybe blocking the six brick, and that just gets put so much value in the the brick for Quijibo of nine rolls. Yeah, that's and he's gonna be able to get a really good trade from Tavlin. I probably block the six brick. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. right. Yeah, now nine hits. He's got two brick, and he can. He's got flexibility. He could maybe negotiate with Tavlin to help Tavlin help him get a city, and he can. You know, get going to that wood port. Another eight. Yep. <clears throat> Tavalines, you know, full of, full of a lot of ore. Yeah, Kuiji was really hoping for a nine. Uh... Oh man, that sucks for Tavalon. <laughs> yeah, it does. Well, maybe as you're saying, the priority was to get that port first before you set it up. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it, it's sort of. St I mean, I don't know if you really block it or not, but I don't know. It's just. It, it's just. It's it's a it's it's hard to do anything with that hand. You need like multiples of. You know, fours or tens or eights, and like reporting or it's just like he's really hoping to city the six three eleven, maybe buy some devs while trying to figure out how he gets that brick. But now yeah. it seems like that that wood port's gonna take him a really long time to get because the table has no interest at all in helping him. Like, and like. You know, like two eights, two fours, or a four and a ten is one card essentially, but it's just, just you know, he's got sevening out risk, and it's just yeah. you know, he, he really needs to figure out he's going to get that wood port. And maybe Sushant does plow into six five twelve. Yeah, that's the right block here. And then we can sort of see what Quijibo's card is. And 
how he's going to play this. He's going to start pacing army. Because I think Shazzy's going to be fighting him hard for it. I, I feel based on his cards, but I mean, let's see how this goes. At this point in the game, who would you say, who do you think is maybe strongest at this point? Well, it is. I think it's fairly even. I quite like the chance position at the moment, but yeah, if he could swing Rhodes yeah. to that e3, that'd be really nice. Yeah. Or if he can sit up yeah. six nine three. Mm-hmm. If he can sit up six nine yeah. three, then he's in a great great in position. The... But... That too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, he need. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like him maybe working to get that city before that fifth settlement. It's a close game. No one's really leapt out miles ahead. Yeah, no, it's they're pretty balanced. I mean, Shazzy's got a leaner, more efficient game, but that any block on him just really hurts him, especially you know that four or. So I think he just needs to keep buying. He needs to really sort of protect. He does need to buy dev cards. Yeah. Yeah, Akuja was. He's just got the most flexibility, and he's just trying to. Figure out when he gets a city. I think the trades. I think when it, that nine rolls, I think there's a trade to be made with Tavaline to ship him a brick, and you know he's going to get a war. I think that's where we may see some a city first settlement type of deal potential. I think. Yeah. That's the trade I'm looking for. That gets both their games accelerated, like advanced. Uh, well, that's a nice three. Didn't play as dev. Rare three. That, that's that's nice for Tavaline too because I believe he's a, a, another uh, weed away from the city. He would be. I don't know if he's got. What does he have? He's got fourish ore. He's got a wheat now. Does he have two wood? He may have a couple of options for even if eight four ten. He may be able to four one and get a second city. I don't know, but it, it, I mean, he has got three turns to do it. So Quidro doesn't play a, uh, a knight there. He does get his settlement down, which is nice. So where does he block? Probably is it the this initial mm-hmm. block here from Strazzy. Yeah, looking quid you both wait. Mm, yeah. You know Quid was trying to get a city and uh, that, that's probably his next objective versus a fifth settlement. Because once you get that fifth settlement, like you, you really get desperate to get a city yeah. and the table knows that they can start to hold hold you down and pin into a potentially bad deal. Yeah. Another eight. And a Tavaline. See if he can do something his... with it these days. Does he have a city? Out. Wow. No, I, I don't think he's got the ore. Never mind. Oh, jeez. Or not the ore, but I don't think he's got. Is he discarding again? He had eight oh. ore, one wheat. I can't. I thought he had some wood in there. But no, he's. Oh, man, he's. But he. Who else has. I don't think there's any wheat out there. He must be getting very frustrated. Oh, jeez. Like it. <laughs> You know, it's. I mean, you got to look at you know, look at his setup too, right? I don't know. Hmm. That's tough. So Tavaline discards. I think he's still a weed away from the city. Keeps the weed, obviously. I don't know what his other cards are. Did he keep two ore and two wood? Maybe just it might help him get. Might make the four and ten one one roll of a four and ten port four one for a second city. He blocks your shot. And buys a dev. I don't know. If, 
Mm. Yeah, he'd love a a non knight Avalon. That'd be really great for yeah. him. Yeah. That's a big block too. Blocking that brick and it really value it puts value to Quijibo's brick if it rolls. Eight rolls. Yeah, rolls yeah when we're Tavlines stab it, it's gonna be really interesting to see what he does with it. I mean, if it's not on him, it's you know nice to you know not be robbed or blocked, but if it's a non knight that'd be particularly uh, even a year of planning would be would, would certainly be great here it would. That wood port. Yeah. Yeah. Shazzy doing here. Hmm. Yeah. I... Yeah, it's just been a lot of ore, wood, and sheep, and just you know, the, the, those resources don't mix that well. No, they don't. You know, it's just without a port, you're just really, really handicapped on what you can do. I mean, the the, the sheep's great for Shazzy, but I mean, maybe there's deals around. Yeah, Shazzy porting again potentially. Uh, I don't know if. Uh, I don't think Tavalin is. He he used a sheep to buy a dev. I don't think he's got. I feel he doesn't have any left. So I don't know if Shazzy can you know try and sell a, a porting service here. That's at all. I feel like it is. No, no not quite. No old. Uh, I think he sees that Tavaline will there will be value for the brick with Tavaline, so I think he wants to keep it in his hand. So I think he thinks he can get a, a really good deal from Tavaline, maybe. Otherwise, I guess he, I mean, he can keep it for the six too, but it sort of puts a target on his back. But I think he just ports there just for the flexibility to, to have the brick because he knows brick is in demand. Yes. Uh, I think that's, that's the objective there. Shoot, shot rules of five. That's cheap. Hmm. <laughs> Tavaline. At least he, he, he's under eight cards here, which seems to be a struggle for him. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it, I, I'd love to see if he had like a year of planning or a road building card to just you know, throw down two roads. If he had a road building card, I, I'm probably, I, I would probably go, I mean, certainly you're taking the wood for Where's that second road go? You go 6 5 12? Six, five, probably. 12. Yeah. Cloud? Probably not. Probably not. I don't think Quijibo care. I think he Quijibo is more interested in building up. I think, but you no, know, that's a. I mean, there's message in the chat that they both gave each other one non-block. Yeah, so I think so maybe I've... that you know the non-block on Quijibo is up. Yeah, but you're so you're, think... you're right about um, Shatter to Brick trade. He's traded it, traded it with uh, with Tavaline. Sorry. That that brick that Shazzy traded got, got got from the sheep. He did just trade it with with Tavern, yeah. So you were right in what you were suggesting. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was a yeah, good play. Yeah, it was a good, good play. Like, I mean, sometimes you don't want to, I mean, I guess it sort of ensured Shaz, it, it lets Shazzy control where the robber's going to go to, which is uh, a really you know, nice gadget play from him. And it keeps a robber, you could it probably dictated where the robber goes in exchange for the brick that Tavaline is you know, desperately needing. So that was a yeah. really good play over there. Yeah. Uh, what Shaz is he doing here? Three. So I believe Tavaline probably, does he have a second city now? No, he bought a dev. So I think he only has one one wheat. But Quijavo might be a bit closer now. I think he's got a couple wheat. Or hasn't rolled in a while. I don't know if she still has one or, or one or. Sushant's crawling, you know, slow, methodically, not say crawling, but I mean, it's a second three. He's got two, should have two or. Trade. I don't think he traded it. So, I mean, I mean, 11 would be a big number for him. I don't think it's rolled. No. Yeah. Hmm. It still seems really close, doesn't it? Yeah, no one's. Uh, that, is that, where are we at there? Tavalion, I think. I think I feel he can four one or to settle, and that would be a really good play for him. Even though it's expensive to port or like that, I don't think he can He's city to there. Do it. If he doesn't seven yeah, out again, so you got it, and that's just going to open up his game so much. Like, I mean, we don't even know what his dev is, right? I mean, because it was on Sushant when he rolled the seven, so it could be sitting with the knight, you know. And he's just got you know a lot of flexibility, but the blocks are going to be on him now, and that's. Yeah, you know, he's gonna be dealing with that. But I mean, eight, four, and ten are all good numbers, and you know, if one of those roll, he's gonna have. He oh, seven that again. He seven <laughs> oh, again. No. Wow, oh, that's just that is such geez, that's bad luck. Cool. It is. It is. Oh wow. It's so tough. All right, so right, gives way four off hmm. again. I don't think there's any. Is there any brick out there? I don't think there is. I mean, that's what Tavaline's all in for is brick. So I think you need to do some negotiation to feel out where you can maybe source brick. I don't know if Sushan had some or not. But I feel like he might. I think he might as well. Yeah, cause I think it's six. It's, no, it was blocked. I don't know if it was blocked when it. Yeah. Yeah, nine's been quiet. That's been slowing Quijibo down a bit. There you go, second city. So yeah, he, he knew Quijavo had wheat. Rob from him. Yeah. That's probably the second wheat city. Assuming well, that... understanding he's insulated on that port, he can be a crawl to get get the port, but well, he can get the dead you know, now. Gets... Uh... Yeah. But if he gets a nice mm -hmm. combo in one orbit of eight, six, and eleven or three, like that'd be that's two development cards, and yeah. that just can accelerate his game. Yeah. Where's the block here? Uh, I sort of don't mind the nine brick. And I think my, th uh, no, I know, I kind of like, I kind of want to see what Quijibo's cards are. I feel Tavaline without a fort is control a bit controllable. I think he can get a good deal out of him to help mm. him get it. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing Quijibo's cards. And if, plus, if, I mean, if he doesn't have a knight, then you know the the six is six is really good and lets him control the the brick. I think it was three. Hmm. 
I think it makes sense. I think that still forces Guillebo to play as knight if you've got one. It does, yeah. It does, but I think you're going to... Uh, well, the thing is, I think Tavalon probably plays a knight first. But it, it may get them firing off knights, potentially, if Tavalon has a knight, because we don't know if he has a knight. Tushant buys a dev. Interesting. I, know, I think he needs a hold for a city. That's me. That, that 11 needs to come. Doo doo. Tavlon have a knight. Where does he put it? He's not like, not much. There aren't great blocking spots where Quidro isn't on. So it's putting Quidro two down cards. I believe the first, I think we saw the first one was not a knight. So it's possibly as a knight. And if he rob if he blocks Quijabo, likely I think Quijabo puts it back either on this probably the six sheep or maybe even the eight or potentially. Yeah. So Tavlin's in a bit of a tough position. Quijabo, you know, acts this you know, he's this turns right after Avalon's. Yeah, I feel he's still got to do it though, even though it, just to make him play it. Because once he's played it, then he hasn't got it anymore. So, yeah. All right. So, places on the four or it's a fair block. I mean, we'll see if Quidro does have a knight. I mean, we'll 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 get a sense of some development cards, and that's good to kind of see where where the game's going. We haven't seen any non knights used at this point. We've only seen one the, only seen one night. So one night. Pretty yeah, that was the first night played. Yeah. yeah. First development card played. This is by Tavalon. He rolls a seven. Who do you rob up here? This is such a low cards. Uh I don't think there's any yeah, there wouldn't be any brick out there. I mean it'd be nice if he could get a development card somehow and protect himself because he's almost certain to get robbed here, I think. I don't see how Quijo or Shazzy don't rob Tavaline here, but uh, otherwise he's gonna be stuck. Oh there you go. So he, 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 his theory I believe with that is he can buy himself hope two turns at least where he's not robbed and maybe he can hit some numbers. Wow, that's a good roll for Shazzy. The, the rare wheat. So Shazzy, does he have enough for a development card? I think he does. I think he's at least three wheat and one, sorry, three sheep. And one wheat. And he just passes. Hmm. Let's do something. Passes. Tavalon. I didn't. So Tushan didn't. It was a quick pass. Tushan didn't, they didn't play do it. I didn't either. play anything. So he's got no. He doesn't have a knight. Is what that tells me. So I think. Uh, maybe even the eleven wheat isn't a bad block. It's going to slow down Shushant. And also Tavalon, who's. I think he wants wheat for devs. I think it was six. That's fair. Hmm. Shazzy rolls eight. No knight played.
Hmm. I wonder what Chaz is thinking here. Well, I think he must have enough for a dev card now, so. Yeah. That's what, yeah, he should. That's what I would do. Yeah. But then, I'm not Maybe he just ports for a brick and just holds it. Yeah. And he knows Tavline needs one. I, 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 I just don't think you want to give Tavline the, the port that easily, but he's got ore. And, like, I think that's just really good material for Shazzy. Yeah. He seems to keep rolling eight. I think there's a deal, like a two or one brick deal that I think could be mutually beneficial. I think that's a deal that probably ends up getting somewhere around that, where I think Talon's got to pay good ore to get that brick. Yeah. But if he gets that port, it's just so much more flexible. And the table knows it. He's got double city already. He's just going to be, he'll be, he'll be fast and furious in the death card deck, I think, when he gets that wood port. There's so many numbers just roll into. Uh, he's just gonna buy that, I think. Or no, he's doing porting. Looks like, okay. So he's he ported for uh, giving Kubijo a ore, and he's getting something out of it. He's getting back. Uh... Let's see here. He's getting quite creative, isn't he? That's... Yeah. Make sure I'm following this along. So two two sheep, one one ore. He takes an ore. Okay. Ultimately uses that to settle. And Quijivo is probably close to uh, I don't know if he's that close to a city. I think he just wants the orc because he might be trying to buy another development card here. Now that brick's nice. For... Now Shazzy's got brick. Now you can... Yeah. Like He would love to trade it to top line, I think, to get a, get a good deal out of him. Uh, I don't I don't know if I'd love trying to get a fist settlement down. I think he just want to empty his hand, but I think he really needs to figure out that city. So he just gets handicapped. And he's not that efficient for devs. For Sushant. Uh, and yeah, like Shazzy's just <laughs> salivating over the chance to trade this brick, I think. Like, the brick isn't that great for Shazzy, certainly without, not with wood, without wood. But I think there's a, I, I feel there's a two ore for one brick deal out there. Yeah. But now but, Shazzy has ore, so that's okay. But like Tavon just needs that port really badly. So I, mean, I don't mind Sushank going to a fifth settlement. If, if he gets on the eight three, that's almost as good as a city anyway. In my Sorry? mind, if he, if Sushank goes on the eight three, that fifth settlement's almost as good as a city. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fair. Uh, that is fair, but it's still absent of an eleven. Like it's still going to be a bit of a crawl for him to. Get yeah. the city, get yeah. the wheat. The wheat's rare. I, I don't know. Like it, yeah. yeah, like I said before, get that E3. You, you agree. Uh, there's value in the E4 for sure. I think just it it's probably just helps him empty his hand, but I think he's just really waiting for that 11 to roll. Just be impatient with it. Hmm. So Tavline 4 1 for that brick. Yeah. Uh, he tempted to do a real. Brick movement just rob Tavline, try and get that brick. Uh, I don't yeah, know. That'd be harsh. I don't know if it. I don't know if it's I. Who's the best block here? Shazzy's got good ore. Wow. And Shazzy has two ore. I don't know how close he is to a city. I think three. I don't think. You may not. You may have one weed at most. Uh, I don't know. Creed was in with two down carts. I understand they're both non knights. He 
sitting with a mono maybe. He realizes he's at four point. He's at. He's got four settlements down. Just getting that fifth one really puts your game into a, a bit of a block. I think he really wants to get a city up before putting another settlement down. But if he's got two VPs and they were able to buy another VP, then he doesn't even need a city to win if he can get road for sure. five settlements. So. He passes for oh, four. That's nice for Shazzy. He's got four wheat. Sorry, four ore and probably you no. Know, I think it's a brick. His hand's kind of stuck. I think he'd love to dump that brick at some point. I don't know what he could get from Tavline though. But that, assuming well, Queen wouldn't get the brick. Well, it depends what, yeah, it depends what right Charlie stole, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> porting fee again <laughs> is that what we're seeing here wow yeah that's just probably that is maybe quidro is a year of plenty i don't know like does he i don't think he's got the Wii. he's got so quidro i think has three okay so there's some moving around here uh ported for a wheat trade the wheat for the ore traded Quijibo. So Quijibo has a wheat now. What did Shazzy get out of that? He got... Did he get two wood out of that? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, maybe that puts him close to... Wow, that's nice. Versus just three warning, you can just give another player two cards. <laughs> that's... Oh, man. Yeah, I guess... No. That was a good trade for Shazzy. No, that nine finally rolls, man. Yeah. That's been locking I think Quidivo's game and his ability to trade the brick for for something, but now the top line ported for it. I don't think he needs a brick. I don't know if he four one. Oh man, but the top line's got high production, but it seems like he's kind of lagging the game with that port. That port just that just really it might even probably makes him the strongest. I would think that port is just so big for him. Ooh, yeah, roads there. Okay, I mean, I know you don't like it. you don't you don't like it, but I, I I quite like that. But oh no, I I don't I don't mind it. Like I'm just, I think, yeah, I... if they can get some dev cards to protect the eight ball. That's... Yeah, he needs yeah. Tavlin to buy them, and. It's... I just don't know if I love being on that eight that much because it's probably gonna be a key blocking spot for the other for the other players. And I'm just trying to figure out how how Sushan gets a city. Like that's you know that fifth settlement just it just to me I I really don't like putting five settlements down before a city. I've done it before and I just like once I do it I'm I'm always <laughs> telling myself I'm stuck. Yeah. Like, why do I do that? And sometimes you don't have an option, or you like you get points down, and you got to figure out how you get that city. Hopefully, you've got material to get to a city, or you can port it, port materials to do it. But, but he, he's also, uh, his city numbers are are weak. Yeah, but he's doubling up on the three as well. So when the three rolls, it's going to be a benefit to him. So, uh, uh, well, Sushant's not on the three. No, 
Oh, so just double the three, the three, the three or three or yeah, three or 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 three or
and just you know like where do you block weed you go like you block it's just you know, a lot of numbers a lot of numbers that are good for him i think based on his setup and infrastructure that's a good six Shazzy hopefully doesn't seven out here. Fujibo, what does he do? He's got uh, Fujibo is what one road? No, sir, one wood, two sheep. Uh, I don't know what the rest of his hand is. Let's say it's probably he may have one brick left. Let's say four one eight three one brick. I think he's nine one twenty. So he's got a a wood brick, two sheep. And I don't know what his fifth card is. So I don't know what he's thinking here. There hasn't been a like Great mono opportunity. I wonder if he's sitting on a mono or maybe even a road building card. If he can. Well, there's a lot of sheep out there. I don't know. I... Yeah. Eh, I mean, 3 1 port's not bad. It, it would really hurt Shazzy the most because like, that's just such good fuel for him for, you know, dev cards or yeah. whatever he wants. But where does that. Get him. I don't know. I, I think he needs to. Like I, I think you got to look at that mono. If he's going to use the mono to win the game, if he doesn't use the mono to win the game, I think he needs to get it. the city dev. I think is probably fair game for a, a, a mono, but depending on what his other card is, yeah. if he has a mono, I'm just totally speculating. He could be on seven cards, but maybe he's got a road building in there. Who knows? But. Still haven't seen any non knights here. One, only one dev card plays. Crazy. No, really, no one's really made the the pace for army. I'm a little surprised Shazzy hasn't with this setup. I thought he'd be buying more devs. Yeah. I think he's got to be buying at least one here though. Or is he just trying? He's got two brick. He's got a good amount. He's probably got four sheep, five sheep, two brick. Uh, he may have an ore. So he's been sitting with that ore. He might have. He's got one dev. I don't know if he's got enough for two. Ooh, I should trade. So he's porting again. <laughs> so Shushan sees he needs a city. He's getting a porting fee out of that, I believe. What's he getting out of it? Getting an ore out of it, I guess. Uh, road building. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's a good, it's a good, really good settlement for him. That is a very good settlement for him. Powers up his five and his six. And, you know, it does give him, I mean, like he doesn't hold the road long term, but if the table's a little uh, slow on giving someone road and he were to get to eight, points and then he could sneak road to win but i don't think shazzy intends to go for road here i just don't know what his win condition is he's just going to build a 10. i mean he, he could he could drop a settlement down to 12 11 and he could put up four cities and you know need a vp or another settlement or something but no, that's a good good play i still think sushant should have Gone for the 5, 6, 12, or the 9, 10. It's just better production for him, too. Yeah. I mean, he does power up his 11, what he did, but. Yeah. That Tavalon, just with the mid of cards, man. It's just with his lucky. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't hit, in the, hit another 7. Oh. Right? You've seen it all game. Hmm. All right. Wants to give Rick the three sheep. I think is that put them close to a city or maybe a city.
Like, I don't know why Shazzy does that. This is part of some, maybe an extension of the last kill they did. I mean, Shazzy can just port with that on his turn. Yeah. I mean, I think, I, I mean, Shazzy, I don't think mine's that at all. Because I, I think he's, Shazzy sees that, that he's got five settlements down. It's going to be a crawl for... Shizron needs to get that up there. Oh, there he goes. There's Tavlin's got his port now. That's his port now. Now we're going to see a lot of action. Uh, like, fine, all numbers finally, really he didn't numbers. he didn't seven out for once. Yeah. Yeah, but back to Sushan. Now he's got five settlements. He's stuck. Like, I, his, or, his, his city numbers aren't great. He does, like, he's only, it's, it's no nice 2-1 two, one to 2-1 two, one port. I just, you know, I don't know. I just... I guess the hope is for Sushant that Tabline can buy some devs and keep the eight unblocked, but then, you know, Tabline's getting double war on Sushant. It's just helping buy more, furthering him into development cards and, you know, probably winning the game. I just, like, I think once he got the, the port, he really needed to get the, get that settlement. Let's get that city up, I think. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's a good play for Kuichu. That right number, you can settle that too. That could be... Hmm. He did use a knight, which is interesting. So he's sitting back. He held that knight for some time. Yeah. Interesting. He's been blocked with it too. I think he just wanted to conceal it and show he wasn't pacing. And now he maybe has an opportunity to pace, but I don't know. I, I think Tavoline's going to be all in on devs here. He's just got better without brick. I think mean, Tavoline's condition is probably, you know, it's army or building the tent. I don't know. I, I, I might I might have been more inclined to play that tonight, really. I don't know if there's like a great blocking spot you know, at, the, at the moment, but. So, as he buys a development card, yeah. that's a big move for Tavlon. Now the dev card race is picking up. Uh, yeah, it's going to for sure. Yeah. Uh, like, here's a road, which I mean, it's good for the table, I guess, because you know, Quijibo can't sneak. Quijibo or Shazzy won't be able to sneak it out. But again, all that, that's a huge eleven for for Sushan. Yeah, he like, he needs a city big time. But maybe he's got. He, he, we haven't seen Sushant's card. He could. He could be at. Uh, he could be at eight points. If he gets that city. Yeah. It's just where does he get the nine, the tenth point? Like his infrastructure. Like. The, the only place he can settle is is on the eight, and the table might be smart to see that, and maybe help Tablin settle that. Then it's going to put Sushant in a tough position where he's got either pull or city, and those are tougher things for him. Well, you say that, but if he puts his first on the six nine three and then a three rolls, he's half yeah. there, you know, it's not Yeah, I mean he has got material, but they're just the low probability numbers. I just Okay, so was he gonna wow. Four big number. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I uh, hmm. So that might tell me Quijibo has as a VP because he's got a city and a VP, and with Road and another settlement, he can win. Is what that play tells me. And he's putting pressure on Shazzy too to try and get that spot. And not only Quijibo minds it that much because he can take Road. Uh, let's see. Mm. I think there's still. The path for Quijibo to sneak the game out with a couple, another nine, eight. If he can take road inside, all he can win. If he loses that four, it's not the move, is what I'm saying. It could hamper his road network potentially. The only thing. It'd be nice if Quijibo could be betting for him, if I were him, to maybe try and plow through this four to, to the 11, but I don't know if he's going to get that opportunity here. 
So Shazzy may have to you know, try and get that settlement down. Wow, no, he's not going to. Unless he's got another. Oh, I'd be yop. Here it is. Yeah, good. All right. Interesting play. I think that forced. I don't know if Shazzy wanted to like that poor dude. I'm not sure. I I'm just trying to think how I feel about that move on both players' part. Like this, like I think I like sitting the five-two with the yop over settling that four. But I think he did it as more defensive move. But I don't think Quijibo is overly concerned about losing that spot, I think. That's maybe how I feel about it. Yeah. I mean, it does power up uh, Shazzy's four, though. It does. It probably, like, I don't think he needs, well, I guess if he's not going to get army, he needs another settlement spot, probably, so. Oh, there's a model. Oh, that's why. That's why he's been taking his time on the city. Very good. So we wait for 11 to roll. Now he's got it. He's got to work. That's good. That's well done. Base that wall, I can definitely come in on that. These guys, so how, many, city. how many did he get? Maybe a dev. You won't have two here. Yeah. Uh, do, I, do I city eight three, though? I don't know. Because you're out of settlement spots, really. Unless you get to the eight. Yeah, okay, well, you did have enough for that. So City Dead, that's that's a good play. But I don't know if I... I might be more inclined to City 3. Because he's out of space. Like, he only has one more settlement spot. Assuming you got a VP there, then you can settle... You can put two more roads down at the eight, but... You know, if, if, I, if I was in Cowboy's position, I'm probably trying to, you know... Maybe explain at the table that Sushant could be on nine. You can at least take a settlement spot away by going to eight and make it a, a tougher tenth point for, for Sushant, but while also trying to get get another point down and power for the power of the eight. But then Tavalan's got three hidden devs as well, so who you knows what he could be on. Correcting something in chat, I was suggesting maybe Shazzy City 5 2, right? Completely missing. Yes, 5 6 12. And Shazzy, yeah, yeah, yeah. if he's going to use a Yop, I'd probably prefer to power up the 5 6 12. I completely miss that. But it left my eye. But uh, Kujo's got a second city. Here we go. 5 9 10. Oh, that one's going to try and push army. I don't know if I like that. I don't know what his other cards were. Ported wood and okay, no, it's <sighs> it's probably going to be the four or, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I think it buys him. I don't think he wants to rob Tabaline because I think Tabaline is probably going to be forced to play nice anyways. Which I don't think he minds Tabaline going for that win condition because I think Sushant's made it clear he's going for road. And, I mean, Tabline's probably inclined to play an aggressive knight because Queen Jabot is going to start pasting army with that tab if, he, if Tabline doesn't play one. Okay. 
I mean, the tab line's just been whoa, seven in there. Whoa, crazy. Steal some Quiju, bro. I guess because that's his road threat. Uh, hmm. That's his road threat. I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't mind. I think Tavon has to play knight here. He would have had to play knight if it wasn't blocked because I think he sees that he's probably going to need on the old. Yeah. If he plays an aggressive knight. That's kind of why I like to see the nine. Right. Or something that Tavon isn't on. On because then it's going to force Talon to play an aggressive knight, which as a non player, you may not mind that. And also, no, not also, but I think that's why I don't I don't want to force Talon to play a knight here unless he, like, he's forced to play a knight for sure. But if he's not blocked and if he doesn't play a knight, then you kind of know what the what his cards, yeah, I have a better idea what his cards might be or what his, what his plan is to try and win. Yeah. So he didn't. He didn't play a knight again before. He, no, he didn't play yeah. a knight. Uh, uh, so I'm having some issues with my mic. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, so that one doesn't play a knight, which is interesting. Uh, kind of uh, Shin is saying it looks like he's got three VPs. Yeah, he might hit or be facing a mono. So otherwise, I think he probably he might want to settle that eight somehow. I mean, if he's even a road building, I'd probably throw it out there because he's out winning this game with the road. And he can just secure that eight spot. Yeah. And then it, yeah. Maybe, but then. It's sort of, it makes Sushant less probable because the table knows he needs a city, two cities, or a city VP to win. Yeah. If you plug up that eight. So like Kujibay's probably got army now. That's not the dev here, I would think. Yeah. Yeah. So he could be, yeah, nine points if he pulls a knight. Uh. Yeah, all right. It's a unfortunate pursuit shot. Uh, the Shazzy Rob, I think I can go through Queen's Jibo because I could probably have nine next turn. I think you gotta put him on nine. Yeah. Three block on three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's four over here. I think it's always four over. Yeah, uh, eight rolls. 
a few people in chat said, you know, they prefer the 693 speed to the 83. I guess, I guess with Tabo not protecting the 80 because he doesn't seem to have knights. I mean, maybe mm -hmm. that might be the 693 could be, be better, but I guess the more rational is that he'd be protecting it more with Dominic Cars, but it seems that he may not be 